10 minutes to orient and talk at you. Then we will stop talking at you and break out into groups and do some work. Um, we'll spend about 30 minutes in uh, idea and problem-based groups thinking about solutions, building off solutions and the ways folks have been thinking about it all week. And then we're going to take our last 15 minutes and come back together as a group and debrief. What, is it, what does it mean to think about solutions at the edge and moving them to the, uh, to the center, right? What does it mean for the ideas that we are coming up with and where, where could they go, um, things like that. So let me orient you quickly to a snapshot of where we ended yesterday. And then we're going to talk about the topic groups. We're going to break out and do some work. So um, we're thinking about the work in kind of four ways. You're welcome to come closer if you want, but I will share them out with you. Some of the big ideas that folks landed on as of yesterday, um, some, we had some big ideas about having a, a co-op, but three co-ops in one to handle different areas of business governance. Um, uh, and in order to ensure that there are no big players or no middlemen, right? We own every aspect of the, of the means of production. Um, and that co-ownership means co-profit. Um, another big idea was like thinking about, well, there's a role um, that Federal Reserve plays, right, um, as, a, as an evaluator for exchange. Um, how do we recreate that in a way that is equally owned um, and that we can participate in? Um, we also thought about what's, what's done with uh, identity data to prove who identity is, uh, to prove what identity is. Um, and, and some questions that asked around, well, do people really want formal ID, right? Or is there an assumption that ID that's government issued is, is a good thing, right? Questions here. Um, uh, that identity focuses on the user, but the creation of identity currently focuses on governments. Is that how we want to think about it? Um, some other big learnings about um, rating systems that needs shared understanding, right? Kind of going back to this, like, if we replace the Federal Reserve, what do we replace it with? Um, the problems, as we see them. So we got like some big, heady stuff. It's 9.08 in the morning. We're already in shared claimancy, right? Like, oh my god. Um, but don't worry, you all will be able to dive in. Um, some of the problems as we see them now, right? Financial control. What works at a small scale, will it also work at larger scales? Will we replicate systems of domination? Um, right? We've got lack of coordination and incentive alignment and lack of transparency. These are both technical coordination problems and long-term social issues right, that come together. Um, uh, big problems we see now, get people to care about the security and sovereignty of ID, right? Like making the, the value proposition of thinking about ID meaningful to folks. Um, scaling something that works small might not work bigger, right? So classic technology and um, engineering problem. And uh, how can we abstract value to increase financial access and liquidity in a scalable way without recreating our old financial system the age-old question I ask myself every morning, frankly. Okay, <laughs> so um, we're trying to snapshot just some of what people's thinking is as it's been developing over the week, which has been fascinating. But let's get you all talking and thinking. We have three main thinking areas that we've been building out. There is one that is around financial control um, and like some of the like financial ownership and currency issues. Um, the problem statement that's being worked on here is people in developing markets need more secure ways of storing their money because the current way, a strong fiat or under the bed, um, promotes loss, right? So if you want to think about that problem statement, if you want to improve that problem statement, if you want to work on finances, you're going to go over here and hang out with this group. Um, this group will be talking about ID, which is a big, gnarly problem. The problem statement that's going to be worked on over here is communities without their ability to own IDs, such as children, elders, or folks who are mentally ill, need the ability to determine who's responsible for and able to action on behalf of their ID because these people are most vulnerable. So if you want to think about identity and vulnerable populations um, and creating autonomy, um, or folks, you are going to come into this group. 
third option. Um, this group back here is thinking about cooperatives, governance, making businesses um, stable, right? Creating business models that uh, resist the big middleman, as you will. So if you want to think about that, think about how you might um, enable that, you're going to go over there. So we're going to break in just two minutes. You're going to get more information in your group on what is this topic area. You're going to improve it. You're going to, you're going to think about how you might say it in your own words. We're not limited to the framing that's here, even though it's where we're starting. And um, what we're going to work on for the next 30 minutes is some solutions and ideas that we have. We're going to generate ideas if we don't have them. Um, so your facilitator for your group is either going to uh, lead you specifically through through an exercise. Um, and if you're not sure, there's two exercises that you can try here um, to take an idea and kind of walk through it or come up with some ideas and share them as a group. Um, so each group will determine how they want to move forward. So with those instructions, you'll have 30 minutes to think about some ideas and solutions, the problem you're working on, talk about it together. Then we'll come back together and share back and have a discussion. The discussion yesterday was really started to get interesting. Um, and we'll land the plane, as it were, um, talking about, well, why, why, why does it matter for us to think about moving from the edge to the center? What does it mean to think about centering people whose experiences and needs are tr traditionally on the margins? So with that, financial inclusion, identity, businesses, I'm going to invite you to break out to these areas, and then we're going to have 30 minutes to work. Thank you.